Well, hello everybody. Welcome to episode two. Uh, first, want to start off by thanking everybody for such uh, great comments on our uh, trial episode one. Um, it was a lot of fun to make, and uh, it turned out all right. So, uh, lots of encouragement to do some more episodes. So, we're back again. Uh, I'm here with um, my good trusty sidekick Shorty. Ready for another outdoor day? Oh yeah! Excellent. Want to also send a big thank you out to Sean from the story till now. If you haven't seen his YouTube channel, make sure you go check it out. Lots of uh, off-road adventures and great videos. And uh, if you find the one that uh, I'm in or two that I'm in, let me know. Um, today's episode is going to be about tripods. And a big thank you to Logan who suggested that we uh, um, that he wanted to learn how to do some tripods. So. We're going to build some tripods out at camp for some various things and uh, should be a good day. We just have to hike to camp now. Ready to go? Let's go. All right. campsite you can see we left our wall up um, and uh, we took down the tarp obviously uh, our fire pits still here we're gonna get going first off by getting a fire going so that we can uh, keep warm and dry and then we'll start the rest of our day <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is build a tripod to go over top of the um, fire and cook off the fire with our billy can that we packed in. And uh, so we needed to get uh, logs that were fairly tall. They uh, about the size of Shorty, so tall-ish. Um, we've got them all squared off to the same size. Uh, at the bottom, to start, you want to make sure they are... Uh, even the bottoms are even because that's what's going to get spread out and then for the top You want to get them as close together as possible, but still a little bit of space in between that um, we can pass the uh, line through so Shall we start? Yeah, okay So what's the first knot we're gonna do here? Clove hitch. So a clove hitch the other thing that I like to do just to make things uh, more interesting is uh, my favorite one is what's called a timber hitch so like that is a simple simple half hitch but if you go through and do two more times or one more time even depending on how uh how much corruption there is in the in the tree and tighten that up and you will see that it uh because of the bark it binds on itself there all right got a timber hitch we've started the uh, lashing process so the first thing you want to do is weave the um, line in this case we normally use just a regular binder twine or something here we've got um, some paracord so it's nice and bright and easy to look at 
and then you can see what's going on. So we're basically going up and down and up and down and doing this weaving motion like this. You want to keep it fairly tight. But um, the real tightness in this project comes uh, at, at the end here. And keep it all, keep the lashing all nice and neat together. Um, you'll have problems if you do quick and dirty lashing. And, and in Scouts, we're all pretty uh, guilty of doing the quick and dirty lashing, where it just goes on top of each other and it doesn't really matter. Um, we're just trying to get something tied together nicely. And with, with some lashing, that's good. Um, or fine, but uh, not necessarily good. But it uh, with a tripod, it's really important that you get the proper uh, binding action um, where it's supposed to be. And because this spot here becomes a pivot, that it needs to be tight. So a good four or five wraps around each of the logs. So if you can count. One, two, three, four, five. Got four here, so we'll just go around one more time here on this side. Push it all nice and tight together. And go down here. And what's next, Lucas? You frap? You frap. Frapping is probably the most important part of uh, the lashing process simply because it tightens everything together. So yeah, everything here is pretty loose. You can see everything kind of wiggles and that sort of stuff. So frapping is just basically going through and wrapping, doing wraps around the joint here. So we'll hold that. If you've got sticks that are like super duper straight um, and you tie them really tight together, you weave them really tight together, you might have issues uh, getting the string or the twine or whatever you're using around. Um, the way to get around that is to put like a little bit of a stick. Oh, I thought I had one right there. Uh, a little bit of a stick in between and give yourself some space so you can this frapping done and you want to kind of move it out each way not necessarily on top of each other but beside each other I don't know if you can see that on the video or not um, but maybe we'll get a photo or something and squish that in Alright, and I am just going to throw a half hitch into here, just to make sure it stays tight while I move to the next part. can't really see because I'm doing it underneath for some reason. And now we're going to do the frapping on the next side. Lucas, it's your turn. Frap away, my friend. And one more time for good luck there. 
I'm going to actually just come up, come up in between here. And we'll do just a little bit of a half hitch in there. Go ahead. That'll help keep it tight. Give it a good pull. Let's tighten that sucker up. Excellent. Oh, not too hard. <laughs> All right. So, um, sorry, I didn't mean to take that from you. And what are we going to tie this off to um, to finish it off there, Lucas? Clove hitch. Excellent. Go ahead and put a clove hitch on there for us. I'm just going to go around, wrap it around again with a bit of a crossover. And slide it through the top there. Tighten that sucker up. And he's going to push it up with the other rest of the knots. Might as well keep everything nice and tidy. Excellent. Look how good that looks. Perfect. And then we could trim this off or uh, simply put half hitches or whatever. Um, we're going to leave it for now because I might have an idea for what I'd like to do with it later. All right, so the next process is going to be uh, to stand this sucker up and uh, see how well it stands up. So you can see how it's uh, frapped together. It's got some joints there. Basically, we're going to pull one out and the other two out and cross them and voila we've got a tripod that works um, so let's carefully put it up over the top of the fire here and out. so there you go it's up over top of the fire uh, of course it's wood so we want to make sure our fire doesn't get too big it's not going to set our, our tripod on fire. Um, best to use some sort of green wood like we did. Um, that'll be a little bit resistant to the uh, flames. Uh, it's not going to last your entire life. It might not even last your whole camp. So you want to keep track of that. Um, so our next object is to take our billy can and hang it far enough down to boil some water. So let's get on that. Here's a neat little contraption, little bushcraft for you. Um, when you're making a tripod over a top of a fire stick stick is going to hold on to the pot and you can take the pot on and off easier you don't want to tie the pot onto the string in the middle because then you can't get it off very easily and then a few extra notches in it to make it different heights so you can go up and down so let's put this on so we've got the little notches in there we slide that in the, the loop is just wide enough for the stick to go through and when there's weight on it, it catches in that notch and holds it there. So we can adjust different heights. The next part, we'll take our belly can, make sure the center of the handle is kind of a point, and it's just gonna simply hang on that. All right, so we've got our belly can on our hook, our adjustable hook that we've made. The string is up high, so it won't burn, um, and the uh, hook is adjustable to get the water down close enough to the fire. All right, so there we go. Uh, we're going to make another one of these sticks that we can use to lift everything off. You got to remember that when the water is boiling, this is all going to become fairly hot. Um, we don't want to just, when we're done, just grab it and take it off. We're going to get a stick and make it that. So we're going to start making lunch now. getting lunch ready uh, Katie's always right underfoot as soon as the food comes out aren't you um, we've got water boiling are starting to boil and today's lunch is going to be mr. noodles but mr. noodles by itself is not a very good meal um, uh, it, it is warm and it'll give you some nutrients 
But what I really like to do is start off with Mr. Noodles, use the flavoring package, and then I do a little mixture that I make up at home beforehand and bring out. Uh, I brought quite a bit out um, because I'm also feeding Lucas and you know how he eats. Um, <laughs> but this has got some chicken, some chorizo, some carrots, some broccoli, some peppers, and some onions, and it's just going to be great. And it really adds that whole extra layer of meal to your lunch. like that it's ready we've made another stick to get it off there we go and lunch is served That lunch certainly hit the spot. To Katie's disappointment, both Lucas and I went back for seconds and finished it all off. The soup was not only tasty and filling, but it was also warm, which is so important on a cold winter's day. After filling our bellies and warming our insides, we had the energy to tackle one more tripod project that you might want to try and use at camp. Can you guess what it's going to turn out to be? Alright, that wraps up episode two, uh, all about tripods. Um, we've got, uh, we've moved our uh, cooking tripod away from the fire. We've got our stuff on our gear tripod, and uh, it's about time to head home. We'll start our walk back. I want to thank everybody for joining us. If you like the videos, make sure you uh, give us a thumbs up. Feel free to su subscribe. That's a hard word to say, isn't it? <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> you can't do it. Okay. So, Hit the, hit the like, hit the subscribe. There's some sort of bell button or something to get notifications. Uh, follow us along, see what happens. Feel free to drop a note in the comments telling us the things that you would like to see and uh, how you'd like to see our camp grow here. Uh, we're having a good time making these videos for you. Hope you enjoy them.
to come back and get the camera every time.